Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Vesperia with Elixir Retake Games. On the last episode, we left the city of Zaphius finally, the capital, and headed north towards Dadenhold in the hopes of heading to Halur. However, we couldn't quite get through the hold because of some monsters, and now we're having to travel through some cursed woods. So that's where we left off. Let's continue traveling through these cursed woods and hopefully not end up turned into frogs or snakes. Let's go! <laughs> Oh man, this game is so much fun to play. Again, it's like, it feels like coming home in a way. Hard mail, nice. Um, I think I've already got some hard mail actually. I might have that on Yuri already. Um, yep, yeah, I do. Oh well, nothing wrong with having an, an extra set. I'm gonna just like ignore the fights or not. Yeah, I beat you into next week. Next week? But can you really? Never mind. Oh, he failed. How do you fail to make a sandwich? Seriously, it's bread and egg! <laughs> oh, he maybe overdid the egg. Who knows? Um, okay, let's ignore you. Can't go through there, apparently. So let's head this way. Oh, hello, chest. You are mine. Cape. Nice. Actually, I think Rapide could use that. Okay, please just imagine a dog wearing a cape. That's it. That, that's everything. That's it. Very good. You'll get the runs. Oh my gosh! S somebody help me! Ah! Is this kid for real? It's all right now. Huh? The monster turned into a girl? Oh, brother, this should be interesting. I'm Carol Capel. I'm a member of the Hunting Blades Guild. We travel the globe in search of the toughest monsters. I'm Yuri. This is Estelle. And you've met Repeat already. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where are you guys going? You guys are here to enter the woods, right? Well then, I'll... Actually, we've just finished coming through the woods and we're on our way to Halor. No way! You guys made it through the cursed woods? Did you guys run into any egg bears? Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? Nope. I don't think we've seen any. Man, I wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. All right, I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear! The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort! See that? I've even got my own Blastia! What? You guys both have one too? Uh, uh, oh yeah? Whoa, how do you like this? It has information about monsters. Hmm? After a certain point, all the pages are blank. That's because I'm going to fill it up with piles of monsters after this. Hey, wait! Who said you could just ride in there? It might hurt your star member status if it got out that you broke your sword. Oh, that? I had to give myself some kind of handicap or else it wouldn't have been a fair fight. Hey, that's actually not too bad. Yo! Do you guys even know where you're going? Halor's to the north, once you get out of the woods! Come on, guys! Wait for me! Acquired the monster book. A book to record enemy details. Collect various data to complete the book. Carol joined the party. Hooray, we have another tag along! <laughs> and we also have a skit here. Even dogs have pride. I don't understand repeat. 
He's a dog with claws and fangs, but he uses weapons? Yeah, I guess dogs do usually fight with claws and fangs. Huh? But Rapide's a dog, isn't he? Rapide is Rapide. What does that mean? Whatever he is, Rapide doesn't think of himself as a dog. That's why he uses weapons and items. But that's not to say that he thinks of himself as a human, either. I don't really understand, but he seems very proud. Yep, so show him some respect. Hey, Yuri, are you translating what Rapide's saying? Nah, it's just your imagination. <laughs> are you sure about that? <laughs> oh, man. Carl's fun. And, um... That's seriously one of my favorite lines of the game. Prepare to die, Eggbear! <laughs> it's so silly. Okay, um... Now Carl's in the party. Do I need to give him anything? He has the Carolian hammer. Something that didn't turn out as intended. Still good enough as a hammer. Fair enough. Um... Uh, let's keep him with that. Oh, he's already got hard, hard mail. Okay, never mind then. Show us what you've got, Carol! Ow, 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 I just got hit. That's her. Ouch. Ouch. Um, okay. Ouch. Yay. Uh, yes. Okay, I'm sure there's an item. Oh yeah, this way. There we go. Mine. Okay, let's head out of the woods then. Um, start heading towards Halur with a full party. What? Okay, return to field map. Well, that wasn't ominous at all. Okay, that weird stranger from before was there? Okay. That ro that mountain in the background. Like, I know what it is and where it is. Because obviously, like, I've played this game before. But, like, I just look at mountains and I think of Rayfall. This is terrible. Okay, where am I going? Uh, let's head this way a little bit. Oh. Let's fight whatever this is. <laughs> oh, we have another skit here. Friends make the journey fun. Having friends to talk to really makes traveling a lot more fun. When I'm by myself, I get a little scared. Uh, I mean bored. Yeah, uh-huh. Hey, Carol, there's a monster behind you. What? Oh, my mistake. I must be seeing things. D don't do that! Our trip just got more lively. <laughs> yeah, if Ailey Yuri's got someone else to tease. <laughs> oh, man. Carol's great. <laughs> like, I mean... I don't think I appreciated him when I first played this game, but I do know. He's great. Um, can you go in the cold from this side? Wow. I can't go in there, but it's there. Okay, let's fight one of these. Leave it to me! Alright. Magic lens time? It's a Trent. You know, Trent's Trent's... They look so completely different in this game than they do in Zisteria and Brazario. They look like actual trees in these games. Okay. Oh no, don't use Mars Shell. Repeat. We'll rest somewhere soon, okay? It's your fault for using all your teammates. That was easy! Yeah. Okay. I'm glad that Carol thinks it was easy. It means that he's obviously a strong member of our forces. This is a chirpy. This is a chirpy, right? Hell yeah, it's a chirpy! I've played this game too many times! It's been years though! It's a chirpy, yay! Okay. Uh, I need to use a magic lens on the boars. The rhinoceros. Yes, these. Okay. No way! Come to me! First aid! Okay, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Holy power, come to me! First aid! Yeah. I should really change my strategy so that they don't try to use our items. You want revenge? Bring it! Okay. We got revenge in the form of making a sandwich, it was great. Okay, let's um... Oh, the camera controls are 
like this, aren't they? Yeah. Like, if I'm going upwards, then the camera goes down, which is a bit weird, but like, okay, it's fine, I'll get used to it. Oh, we have another skit here. Not as bad as I thought. The area outside the barrier isn't quite as bad as I thought it would be. But it's like I read. Outside the barrier, there are monsters everywhere. It's so dangerous. Oh, yeah? Think about all the knights going to all the cities of the world. This is nothing. But a lot of people hardly ever go out of the city. Like you, Yuri. And some people never even go out of the castle. That's entirely fair. At least Yuri's been out. At least he was a knight for like three months. Oh, man. Um, that's a lot of lights. Oh, we can enter. Oh, this is a place. Hi, how are you guys doing? Can I go in here? Can't let anyone through without a gate pass. Now, move along. Oh, okay. Is that what you see here? This facility is under direct control of the Empire. If you don't have business here, please move along. Alright, calm down. This is Ospio, the closed city of learning. Please produce your passport. We don't have a passport, so we're just gonna leave. <laughs> Sorry to intrude. Um, the broken sword. Carol, are you okay, e even though your sword's still broken? Nah, it's lighter and feels easier to use. Now your sword won't be swinging you anymore. Sounds good to me. Breaking your sword to get it to just the right length. <laughs> You're obviously some guild's ace. Yuri, you didn't break Carol's sword on purpose, did you? I'm not that good. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um... Why is there a daikon radish here? <laughs> At last! Someone found me! I've been waiting. I'm Wonder Chef. I travel the world far and wide, seeking gourmet food and travelers that appreciate the fine importance of fine dining. You usually find me in disguise. A food connoisseur should have no problem seeing through it, through, though. <laughs> Call it a test if you will. And it seems like you are one of them. <laughs> You've got potential. For that, I'm going to reward you with a recipe. Learn the recipe for Salisbury steak. I'll give you this so you can practice. Obtain three sets of ingredients for the recipe. For the love of food, bon appetit! <laughs> there are a lot of strange objects scattered throughout the world. Wonder Chef might be disguised as one of them. When you find him, he will reward you with a recipe. Try to seek him out on your journey. I'm so glad he wasn't voiced. <laughs> oh god. That was too much fun, I'm sorry. I hope that wasn't offensive to anyone. Um, I thought I'd just do a silly voice for him. Yeah, anyway, we have a skit here. Maps. Estelle, what are you looking at? It's a map of the area around here. Oh, let me see. Hey, this is almost completely blank. You can't call this a map. Really? You should try a surveyor's guild like the World Cellar. Their maps are really amazing. All the top guild members have one. So then naturally you've got a copy, right, Carol? Let's see it. Uh, well, you see, once you get as good as I am, you don't need to use a map anymore. Oh, that's too bad. I really wanted to see it. That's too bad indeed. There was supposed to be another skit there, I think, but we'll, we'll get it when it shows up eventually. This door is locked. Well, that's fine. Hopefully that skit will come back up. If it doesn't, then crap, we just lost a skit. Thanks, Wonder Chef, for making us lose a skit. <laughs> oh, man. I love the Wonder Chef. Fight me. Okay, um, let's head over this way. I go in an endangered encounter. Not an endangered encounter, that's not... Let's get this over with. <laughs> that's completely different. All right, ooh, we have another skit here. Carol and Repeat. What's the matter, Repeat? Why are you mad? H hold on! Y you don't want to eat me, do you? H help me, Yuri! Something the matter, Carol? It's... it's nothing! <laughs> Talk about mood swings. <laughs> mood swings, indeed. 
He just wants to seem cool, okay? I'm getting attacked by birds. This is fine. Okay, let's head over this way. I'm just trying to fill in the map at this point. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is like a ruin. Very pretty. Um, I get the feeling we're not supposed to be here though, so I think we'll just leave and come back later. It's a very pretty place though. So does it say what it is? Nope, nope, just question marks. Cool. Okay. Hi, King of Adventure. We could totally use you, so repeat stops using items. Oh, hey, we have another skit here. Who's this Carol kid? This Carol guy is kind of weird. He does seem a bit restless, but that doesn't make him a bad person. He doesn't seem evil, but I'll bet he's got some weird thoughts going on in his head. You're only saying that because you can see some of yourself in him. You think the two of us are alike? Yes. It's like you have genuine emotions, but your pride won't let you show them. So I can't bring myself to dislike him. Huh. <laughs> Did I upset you? No, that's just some pretty deep insight about people you only just met is all. Hey! Well, I mean, he's not lying. Hi, Carol. Hi, Rich. Hmm. Welcome to the King of Adventure. Oh, it's you! Wonderful to see you again. Yeah, it's been a while. What pleasant serendipity that we would run into each other yet again. I thought we'd see them again. Oh, big brother, you're ever so blunt. Who are these people? This is Karen and Rich. They're traveling around and operating an inn. Nice to meet you. Hmm. Uh, nice to meet you too! It seems you have more companions since the last time we met. How nice. Perhaps you'd like to stop and rest? Yeah, I could use some rest. I agree. I'm kind of tired out myself. Well then, we'll take you up on your offer. Please, make yourselves at home. Yeah! Yeah! Hmm. That's a pretty ancient looking sword. The blade's gotten really dull, too. It's no longer anything more than an antique. A fit to cut man or beast. Is that sword important to you? It belonged to someone I respect. I just can't get rid of it. Rich, it seems like you're not running a traveling inn just for the heck of it. Am I right? Hmm. You shouldn't be so nosy, Carol. It's all right. It's all right. I'm, I'm a warrior, not a, not an innkeeper. I left my village with Karen to slay giganto monsters. I was fifteen at the time. When you were fifteen, how old are you now? I'm twenty-eight. Thirteen years, huh? That's pretty long. The giganto monster—that's the name of a giant type of monster living all over the world. I heard that an extermination force sent by the Empire to kill them was entirely wiped out. Until every single one of those monsters has fallen, I cannot go back to my hometown. Why is that? <sighs> Sounds like there's something you're not telling us. Maybe we can help? It seems like you're having a tough time of it. But you see... I don't know the details, but you committed to doing this yourself, didn't you? Yeah. Then it sounds like this is up to him, Carol. Y yeah <sighs> Did you sleep well? Yeah, I slept like a trick yo-yo. If you ever happen to see us around again, please stop and say hello. Yes, thank you so much. You're so kind. Later. Big brother, I keep telling you, try to be more friendly. Maybe we should have helped them. We can't solve all the world's problems by ourselves. Though if we ever happen to run into these monsters that he was talking about, we might as well take them out for him. 
I don't see any problem with doing that much. Yeah, alright. I was not prepared to do an entire cutscene as Carol. I've never done his voice before. That was awful. I'm so sorry. I'll try and improve for next time. <laughs> oh, man. Karen, Rich, I hope you're doing well. Hi, hi, Rich. How you doing? Oh, it's just the same thing. Okay. I'm gonna go out this way then. You know, for a change. Ah, uh, and we aren't transferred to the other side. That's sad. Oh well, let's go around this way instead. Okay, I'm gonna, like, head around and explore. Um, if anything comes up, I will let you know. Alright, we're going to go into Hallur, I think. <sighs> I say I think as though I've not played this game before. <laughs> Halur, the city of blossoms. Yeah, that's right. Don't they have a barrier here? Yes, there should be. You guys haven't been to Halur before, right? So then you haven't heard about the tree barrier. Tree barrier? Some Blastia fuse to plant life, gain organic qualities, and evolve. The tree barrier of Halur is one prime example of this. I read that in a book. Well, thank you, Professor. So what's happened to this famous barrier? Doesn't look like it's doing much right now. Every year, just before the blossoms are in full bloom, the barrier weakens for a while. It's just that time of year right now, and the monsters took the opportunity to attack. Is that when the barrier went down? Yeah, the monsters were taken care of, but the tree is slowly starting to decay. Hey! W what is it? Sorry, I gotta run! Bye! Does that kid ever sit still? So I guess you'll be looking for Flynn now, huh, Estelle? Doesn't she know we need to keep a low profile? And what happened to looking for Flynn? Alright, with Estelle and Carol. Well, thanks, party, for leaving me. What happens if I try to leave? We just got here. Let's look around some more. Alright, we'll look around some more. I'm gonna just break into someone's house. Oh, it's the mayor's residence. Let's break into the mayor's residence then. Um, anything over here? I feel like there's supposed to be an item in here. Oh, hello. Water is flowing into a tree house from the... Oh, water is flowing into the house from a tree stem. Wow, I can't read. Which is kind of useful, isn't it? <laughs> this is really pretty. Oh, magic lens, nice. Anything over here? No. Nothing more to steal? Oh, hello. Orange gel, nice. I just want to steal items, okay? You know, I feel like they definitely added songs to the soundtrack. I don't think this played in Hulu the first time I came here in the Xbox version. I don't think I've ever heard this song. Not gonna lie. Was that sign always there? Um, you know, I definitely don't think I've heard this before. The more I listen to it, the the theme of it, the motif, is familiar. However, the song itself I've not heard. You start to appreciate the barrier blast you now that it's gone. We were lucky to get away with just bruises, but the elderly... Not so much, huh? We're powerless. We can't even help the people of Halur. Well, that's not good. Um, hi. Father, this is so embarrassing. I can't face the citizens of the city. Am I hurt? No, no. I'm just too scared to move. Yeah, I suppose these people are people who have lived in inside of the walls. Inside of the barrier. So no wonder they're gonna be terrified. Um, safe point. I mean, you might as well just know that there's a safe point there. Um, oh, we can actually- it's locked. This must be a guest room. 
We can go to this one, though. Is there anything in here? You know, items I can steal? I love to steal from hotel rooms, obviously. Uh, the Grand Tree of Hulu looks enormous. Okay, fair enough. Apple gel, nice. These games are so kind to you. <laughs> For just thieving from other people's rooms. Um, oh, what's this? Calling all portrait painters. Those of you who th think you could draw the best Lloyd, step right up. Doesn't matter if you draw it on paper, leaves, tree bark, anything is welcome. Send your entries to Real Lloyd. Looking forward to your work. Okay. <laughs> you heard that, right? Draw some fan art of Lloyd from Tales of Symphonia and send it to Real Lloyd. They want to see it. <laughs> oh man. I love the references they put in these games. Oh man. Right, let's um let's go find Estelle. Might I help heal your wounds? Oh my, you can use healing arts? Why, that would be excellent. But I'm afraid we don't have very much money. No, no. I don't need any money. Amazing. The pain is all gone. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, uh, please don't mention it. My heavens, what amazing healing arts you have. How can we ever thank you? No, really. Think nothing of it. What a humble young lady. I wish the Imperial Knights could follow your example. Not a chance. The Knights refuse to lift a finger to protect us from the monsters. Well, I guess the Empire couldn't care less what happens to us here. No, th that's not true. Ah, but that one knight sure was different, wasn't he? Yes, that young man. If not for him, we would have all been lost. The barrier weakened earlier than usual this year, and we were attacked before the guild could come to protect us. There was a knight who happened to be passing through our town on a pilgrimage. He and his brigade drove off all the monsters. A knight on a pilgrimage? Was this knight named Flynn by any chance? Yes, his name was Flynn Shifo. Is he still in the city? No. He left the village afterwards in search of a mage who could fix the barrier. You know where he went? It looked like he was headed east, but beyond that I couldn't tell you. I see. So we can wait here, and Flynn will come to us. Looks like we've caught up with him. Don't you feel better now? Yes. I won't be able to relax until I see him. But I guess I feel better. I think I'll go have a look at this famous tree. Want to come with? Ah, yes. Yuri, you don't mind? You're okay not going after the Blastia core thief? I can spare enough time to look at a tree at least. Estelle, join the party! Alright, um, at least that tells us where Flynn's gone. That helps. Oh, um, okay, it's just a talk thing. I don't want to talk. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I had the wrong person, and none of the others from the guild are here either. I kept her waiting so long. She must have gotten mad and left. I wanted to show her Halur's flowers in full bloom, then maybe... Carol, what's the matter? Where'd she go? Is she really gone? I'm doing the best I can. Carol? Let's give him some time alone. It's over, it's over. It's all over. It's really over. Everything, everything is over. Yeah, we got weapons now. We're gonna beat those monsters. The mayor's gonna let us fight now. Let's beat up those monsters just like Flan. Yeah. Even those kids are trying to fight. I hope the barrier is restored soon. Me too. Wow, Carol is one melancholic kid. We have a skit here. Fire Blastia. Even though Dadenhold was struggling without a barrier, they'd have had issues even with one. Yes, barriers really do have a big impact on people's day-to-day -day lives. Well, they keep people safe from monsters just by being there. It's no surprise it changes things. I want to help heal Halur's tree as soon as possible so that everyone can feel safe again. Well, that's a nice thing to do. Let's do that eventually. Hi, Carol. Poor doomed. 
We're done for. We're fine, Carol. You're fine. Probably. I mean, who knows, really? With Carol, it's hard to tell. <laughs> Let's go up this way and finally see the tree that we're supposed to go see. This sad, depressing tree. It's huge up close. The tree's flowers should blossom any day now. Yeah, I wish I could see it in bloom. I know how you feel. There's something about the image of a tall tree vibrant with blossoms and protecting the city that's so... romantic. You know, I'm gonna stay here and help heal the injured. Hmm, if you're gonna heal something, maybe you could heal the barrier itself. What do you mean? When monsters come again, more people are gonna get hurt. Those kids we just saw could be among them. That's true, but I have no idea how I could heal the barrier. What you need to heal is this tree. It wouldn't be in this condition just because some monsters attacked it. You think there's some other reason? I think there's gotta be. What are the two of you doing over here? We're trying to figure out why the tree has withered like this. I don't know if you'll make much progress on that one. The Knight Flynn couldn't figure out the reason either. Oh, Carol! Carol, we need your help! What are you talking about? It seems these two are trying to figure out the reason the tree's withered so. Oh, is that all? What do you mean, is that all? I know the reason. It's why I was in the forest looking for the egg bear. Huh? What are you talking about? Look closely at the ground. Notice the strange color? That color is where the ground absorbed the blood of monsters who attacked the town. That blood has been poisoning Halur's tree. What? The monster blood? I had no idea. Carol, you really know your stuff, don't you? It was nothing. Is there anything we can do to get rid of the poison? I know a way, but... Well, no one believes me. Come on, try us. I think we'd be able to do it if we had a panacea bottle. Maybe we can get one in the general store. Let's go, Yuri. Well, I guess we're gonna go on shopping for panacea balls. We have another skit here, though. The Tree of Halur. I can't wait until the tree's blossoms are in full bloom. They'll be fantastic. I bet there's a flood of petals big enough to just sweep you away. All those petals dancing in the breeze. It'd be like a dream. I wonder how they deal with all their houses getting buried in flowers every year. That's gotta be a pain to clean up. You really take the fun out of things, Yuri. He doesn't take the fun out of things, he's just pragmatic. Also, Carol must be a really smart kid if he was able to figure out something that no one else could really figure out. Oh, there's an item there, but I guess it's supposedly on the other side. Hmm, okay, hi Carol. Not like anyone cares about my two cents. Hey, we're listening. We care. Hi, old man. A panacea bottle. You've got one. Well, I, we, we don't. <laughs> we don't have a panacea bottle. <laughs> probably use one like um let's go and grab a panacea bottle while we can um at the general store you say i think it's over this way hi kid hi there talk to me general store man howdy welcome to the store what can i get for you today do you have any panacea bottles unfortunately we're sold out at the moment but how can that be but you know, if I had the right ingredients, I'd be able to fix them up for you. What would you need to make it? I'd need three ingredients. Egg bear claw, nea fruit, and Laluria petal. But why do you need a panacea bottle so badly? A kid came by the other day asking about the same exact thing. We want to heal Halur's tree. What's that? I've never heard of using a panacea bottle on a tree before. Hmm, yeah. What sort of thing is the Nia fruit you mentioned? That would be the bitter fruit you said was so delicious back in the woods. So, what's an egg bear then? Sorry, I can't help you there. Monsters are beyond my expertise. If a member of the Hunting Blades were here, they might be able to tell you. 
They make their living hunting monsters. So that's why he was in the forest. What can you tell us about the Laluria petal? You know the tree in the middle of town, right? It's a petal from that tree. Normally, we use magic resin, but there isn't any around these parts at all. But the tree is all withered. I believe the mayor has some Laluria petals. You might try asking him. Gotcha. We'll come back when we've gotten the ingredients together. All right, let's just pretend that we didn't steal stuff from the bear's house and go and ask him for more stuff. Sounds good. Um, okay. I should buy some more apple gels while I'm here. And definitely more magic lenses. Um, you have poison paralysis bottles, actually. I'm gonna buy two of each. Um, and obviously I'm gonna buy all of these items. Because... why not? Oh, I, I can't buy all these items. Well, let's buy the one for repeat. <laughs> And um, we could probably use some bread and eggs, right? Let's get three bread and three eggs. Okay, that'll do. Okay, let's go talk to Carol. Hey, how you doing? Come on, Carol. We're going back to the Koi Woods. What do you mean? Remember? Prepare to die, Egg Bear! You mean you believe what I said about the Panacea bottle? Are you lying? Well then, we'll have to go with what you've told us. Yuri! Alright, I'll help you out just this once. I'm a very busy person, you know. It's settled then. The three of us will restore the barrier together. You're coming too, Estelle? Well, of course I am. What about waiting for Flynn? Wasn't it you who said if you're going to heal something, it should be the tree? We'll just have to fix the tree before he gets back. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on his face. Carol, join the party. Alright, looks like we finally got that done then. Okay, let's head to the mayor's house before we leave town then. If um, the mayor's supposed to have some Laluria pals. Um, hello? Mayor? Let me steal some stuff from you, please. Is that the mayor? No, that's, that's his wife, I guess? Hi. The tree of Laluria used to protect our town. Is this town finished? Well, I mean, hopefully not. Well, I guess that wasn't the mayor, so... Um, hi? Sir, you wouldn't happen to have any Laluria petals, would you? Who'd you hear that from? I mean, I do, but... Ah, so that's why you need a petal. The Laluria is one of the three flowers that blooms on Halur's tree. The petals are dried for half a year in the shade, and they're very valuable. This is my last petal, but if it'll restore the tree to its old self, then I don't mind giving it to you. Obtain the Luria petal, one of the ingredients for the panacea bowl. A precious petal from the Mayor of Halur. Thank you. Next up on the list is the Nia fruit and an egg bear claw, was it? Yep. Let's go to the Koi Woods. Alright, let's head on to the Koi Woods then. I think we've got about enough time to go and find some more ingredients. Um, although, do we need to sleep at an inn? Now that I think about it. Uh, we're okay for health, but let's go and sleep at the inn just in case. Um, you know, it, it'd be better to have all the health that we could get before, you know, potentially fighting an egg bear, if we can find an egg bear. <laughs> um, maybe we'll just find a random egg bear claw lying around. You never know. So, like, can I sleep at the inn, or... Yes, I can. Hello. Welcome. Will you be staying? It'll be 150 gold. Well, that's expensive. Oh, I don't have enough gold? <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> Guess we'll just suffer. It's fine. Um, yeah, we'll be fine. Probably. Um, I mean, if I cook, does that restore HP? I can't remember. Um, cook. Party is full. Well, apparently not then. <laughs> can't remember how cooking exactly works in this game, but we'll try our best with it. Alright, let's head back to the Koi Woods, um, just over this way. At least it's not too far of a run. Like, the back and forth is fine when it's just short runs, short areas, you know. Boom. Koi Woods. Hey, 
Hey, I've been wondering. How come you guys, and Repeat too, I guess, all have Blastia? Aren't Bodhi Blastia pretty rare? I didn't think many people had them. You have one too, though. I belong to a guild. Sometimes we get a chance to get one. And Ruins Gate keeps finding more. That's a guild that excavates Blastia. <laughs> there are even guilds that dig up Blastia from ruins? If there weren't, then the Empire would control all the Blastia. Normal folks wouldn't get any. The Empire regulates the ancient Blastia artifacts due to their potential danger. I think that makes sense. If Blastia weren't regulated, anyone could use dangerous magic. But they've gone way overboard. They have a monopoly. Uh, I don't know about... So anyway, what's your story? How'd you get yours? I used to be in the Imperial Knights. This was a going away present. Repeat got his as a keepsake of his old owner. A going away present? Sounds more like you stole it to me. So what about you, Estelle? Uh, I got mine from... Uh... Look at her, she's a noble. They all have these. I knew you were a noble. Well, at least one of you has some class. Yeah, yeah. Let's go get that Nia fruit. All right. Um, finally learned a little bit more about Bodiblastia and how people come across them. If you're curious about um, Yuri and Rapine's ones, by the way, I suggest going and watching The First Strike, which I have mentioned before, but like, seriously, go and watch that film. It's really good. <laughs> and it, oh, I watched it last night, okay, so I'm just sitting here like, oh no, oh no. So yeah, go watch it. Anyway, we have a skit here, Getting to Know Repeat. <sighs> Do you mind if I scratch behind your ears? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess it's still too soon for me to pet you. Let's start over by getting to know each other a little better. <sighs> So then, my name is Estelise. You knew that already, right? Huh? Repeat? Introducing yourself to an invisible friend? Oh, I won't give up. You'll do it someday, probably. Who knows? I'm gonna go quickly save outside of town. I've just realized I haven't saved. I'm like, I'm feeling thinking about it now. If I die, then I die, you know? All right. Uh, no, don't fight me. Oh, thank God it didn't fight me. I'm gonna try not to get any fights. Cause like as much as I like fighting, um story's also good. Um Is this gonna let me get all the way back to the Okay. Full power! Onward! Yeah! That only took four seconds. We're doing good. Oh man, okay, let's uh, not get you. Next up is the Egg Bear Claw. Are we gonna walk around the woods and look for an Egg Bear? No, we'll never find one that way. Yeah? What'll we do then? Hand me a Nia fruit, would you? I'm gonna use it to lure out the Egg Bear. The Egg Bear has very unusual tastes, you see. Jeez, you smell horrible. Me? That smell isn't coming from me! Please tell us when you're gonna do something like that. Oh no! Repeat! Everyone, keep a lookout! An egg bear could come out any time now! And they're famous for their terrible ferocity! So then, Captain Carroll, I'm assuming that you're gonna lead the charge against this terribly ferocious monster? Of course! But I could use a hand from you, Yuri. I'll help too. Oh, and repeat also. Well then, how about we have a bit of a walk around the forest? Acquired the following Nia fruits. One of the ingredients for a panacea bottle. It gives off a bad stench when burned. Okay. <laughs> Freaking Nia fruits. Oh, Carol. I mean, smart kid. No survival techniques. Smells kind of bad at the moment. And we have a skit here. A Nia fruit here? 
why would a Nia fruit be lying on the ground in the forest? I didn't see a Nia tree nearby. Oh, that'd be the monsters in the forest. It's how they mark their territory. Can we really just take it then? I suppose there's no way for us to ask permission. Yeah, I don't really speak monster. Carol, they don't teach that in your guild, do they? The Hunting Blades hunt monsters. We don't need to waste time making friends with them. That's a shame. I think Estelle's the only person who would say that's a shame. Can we? No. Yes? Decaying Blastia are strewn everywhere. Oh, huh. interesting. All right, let's uh, see what's down here. Be on your guard, everyone. It's really ferocious. Hey, fearless leader. You're not supposed to hide right after saying things like that. The star always performs the finishing blow. Everybody knows that. No, I don't think so. Ah! Th that's an egg bear? Well, I have to hand it to you, Captain Carol. Operation Stink Bomb was a smashing success. Hey, don't go giving my plan weird names. Stand up straight when you say stuff like that. All right, looks like we are fighting an egg bear. Okay, um, I'm gonna get Carol, no, Estelle, Estelle to use a magic lens on the egg bear. Okay, level 12, not bad. Uh, it's got 12,000 health, but we can do that. Ow. Okay, let's get rid of the, the grunts first. I don't think this thing can call any more grunts, right? It's a, it's a bear. Ow. Oh, I do have a back step, that's good. Okay. Right, let's fight this egg bear. Okay, stop using all my items. Okay. Can I use any arts on this guy? Nope, okay. I mean... Ow. He takes a punch, but... Okay, just take it, it's fine. Uh, I mean, half health. Okay, give one to Carol, whatever. Wow, I didn't mean to jump at the time. Oh, I'm at low health. That didn't heal me, that's rude. What? Are you healing everyone except for me? See? You see what I did? That was nothing. Mm -hmm. Repeat help too. Thanks. <laughs> you helped, Yuri. It's fine. Carol, come get the claw. I don't know what I'm doing here. What? Anybody can do that. It just comes right off. Here, let me help too. Ugh. Estelle, why don't you guard the perimeter? R right. Y you sure it's totally dead, right? Ah! Wow, Captain. If I didn't know you were just goofing around, I'd swear you were really scared. Uh, <laughs> pretty good, huh? Acquired the following egg bear claw. One of the ingredients for a panacea bowl. It looks bad, but it is a useful medicine. How's the nose, Repeat? Alright, let's head back. Hooray, we got all the stuff for it! Okay, let's get out of that way. Um, okay, I'm gonna see if I can get back to that save point, because hopefully we can. Um, actually, yeah, let's get out of the Koi Woods. Let's get out of the Koi Woods. Yuri Lowell! I know you're here in these woods! Turn yourself in like a good boy! You've gotta be kidding me. Lou Blanc followed me all the way outside the barrier? Uh, what? Who followed you? 
Uh, just some guys from the Imperial Knights. <laughs> yeah, right. The Knights are chasing their own former member. Wait, seriously? I say, come out now, will you? Show yourself now and we'll spare you a pummeling. Shaking in your boots at mere rumors. And you call yourselves Knights of the Schwan Brigade. So, what are they after you for? Vandalism? Fraud? Smuggling? Robbery? Murder? Arson? Uh, it's really just for jailbreak. Anyway, let's bolt. There we go. We can't do that. It'll get in the way of other people passing through. Who's gonna be passing through? These woods are cursed, remember? That takes care of that, then. Um, I can't believe they changed the voice actors of all three of the knights. Wow. <sighs> okay, let's return to field map and uh, quickly head back to Halur, and then we can save. Hopefully, that'd be good. Save and quit, probably. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, and suddenly it's night time. Let's go into Halur. very solemn here. I keep forgetting that there's new music here. I'm pretty sure that music wasn't here before. Wasn't there a save point here? No, it's in the end. It's in the end. <laughs> Am I getting confused with a different place from a different game? Probably. Anyway, looks like there's a save point here. So, um, we're gonna end off the episode here, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, what happened in this episode here today? Oh yes, we headed to Halur, we got a new party member in Carol, and we are starting to find a way to heal a tree, apparently. Fought an egg bear. That was fun. Um, yeah, let me know what you thought of all that down below if you like. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time it is for you. And I will see you next time.